I know it's always a very special experience to be broadcasting under the floodlights here at Stadium Australia in Sydney. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. And it's decision day here at the 2023 World Cup. The final stands before us. It's England and they take on Sweden. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The England first 11. Here's the starting 11 for Sweden. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And the match begins. Well, she's gliding through. Well, the truth of the matter is she didn't really make the goalkeeper work very much at all. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Oh, lovely incisive pass. Well, it still could be dangerous. Threat over for now, it seems. No nonsense clearance. Is it going to be... Oh, she's going to be cross with herself. Great chance to take the lead early on here. Well, having got into that position, you expect her to score. That was a great chance, as you mentioned, for the opener. Well, Sweden unable to hang on to it. There's a slide rule pass. Chance, maybe... And reading it absolutely superbly. Can they take advantage? Gives it a go. Not out of the woods yet. Well, nothing comes of it. Well, so close to getting that early goal there. But it was a wonderful save by the keeper, you have to say. Alessia Russo. Might really be able to trouble them here. Well, really, making the goalkeeper's life simple. That should be hit in the back of the net. That was a big, big chance. Well, the pass not finding its target. Jakobsson. And giving the ball away. Good-looking play as she tries to get them onto the front foot. And there it is! She's etched her name in history as the scorer of the opening goal in the final. You've simply got to enjoy these moments. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And she just finds that bit of space in the box, which makes the header so much easier. It's a very good goal. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be?
and teammates to play it to. It has to be! Oh, her volley was close. High degree of difficulty. Well, it's a fantastic effort. Difficult technique, but she's caught it well. Very unfortunate. Kosovari Aslani. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. Well, hit with power, but shame about the placement. Walsh. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Oh, this is looking promising. Crossing into the middle. Well, not the best clearance. Well, just trying to drive her team forward here. And it's still on. It's a perfect challenge. Must be. And fine goalkeeping. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kick the outcome. Georgia Stanway. Soon. Jess Carter. Fine sequence of passes. How well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. And there it is, the half-time whistle. So they get the ball rolling once more, and it's advantage England after the first half. Let's see what the second 45 has in store for us. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Jakobsson. Philippa Angeldahl. Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. Can they stop it going in? And she grabs it at the second attempt. Well, you can sense the relief, can't you? It's a really good initial stop, though. Well, as you can see from the stats, they've absolutely dominated the game. They've been good in possession, they've created chances, but they just haven't been clinical enough in front of goal, and that's the big problem. If they want to get back into the game, they've got to start taking some chances. They have the ball again. What can they do with it? This could be the equaliser. Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. And blocked for now. Now, options are plenty. Could be! Oh, that's a fine save. Alex Greenwood. Well, still behind here, but only due to some incredible goalkeeping. Surely it's only a matter of time if they keep piling on the pressure like this. Jakobsson. Philippa Angeldahl. Into the advanced position. Just needs to resolve the danger. And just missing the target. Whether at least... Taking chances. Now they need to be more clinical. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Hemp. Alex Greenwood. Our possession is the watchword inside their own territory.
Kelly. Superbly read and executed. Fridolina Rolfo. It is a decent looking attack here and thwarted there following the cross. Will they get themselves level here? Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Rachel Daly. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Could be a chance to break here. Will they profit from this situation? Oh, how important could that save be? Well, what a save it is. She's kept her team in it here. And the substitution will occur now. Delivering it. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. And space to exploit, maybe. All even, but will it stay that way? Good looking cross. Able to deal with the threat. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And so into the final five minutes. Well, good looking play with the ball of defeat. Drilled ball, no height on it. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Well, firing it a long way off target. Was that the right decision? Well, I think she's got every right to shoot from there, but on this occasion, she makes the wrong sort of contact. Millie Bright. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Crossing opportunity. Well, still an issue here. And I think the threat has been averted. They cannot be separated here, and it's on. So away they go again. The first period of extra time, and it's legitimate to ask to what extent mental strength will come into this. Looking forward to it. A really sumptuous ball. Now the attack fizzled out. Well, no surprise there. England have enjoyed most of the possession, but with the talent they have on show here, the lack of quality in the attacking third has been a real disappointment. They need to play with more urgency to win this one. Well, looking to put the ball to good use here. And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. Going short. Will it happen for them? Takes it on. And grazing the woodwork that time. Well, it's almost the perfect strike, isn't it? Just gets underneath it slightly. Now there to intercept. Lauren James. And getting the better of her marker. Oh, surely! Superb stop. Oh, she went for power off the frame of the goal. Well, I think from that distance she should be scoring, at least testing the goalkeeper. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. It's a good-looking ball in behind. And the first period of extra time comes. No-nonsense clearance. And away they go again. Second period of extra time has commenced.
and just losing control of the ball and it will be a throw in there to take it away still pushing for a winner but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending now counter attacking possibilities here a foul but advantage played textbook defending inside the box now can they create something and she's made the timely run oh a goal and how important can that be maybe it's a story of one hand on the trophy at this stage of the final a huge moment Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And just look at that finish. 1v1 against the keeper, and she hits it with power. It's a great goal. goal! What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Carolina Sega. Bjorn. Valencia in attacking position. It's not too late for them. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. And the final whistle is music to the ears of every England fan. Listen to this. England are the world champions and this is what these players have been dreaming about for quite some while now just look at the emotion on these players faces great scenes here yes the dream has been realized England's women's world cup winners for the first time And what a moment this is for Serena Wiegmann and her players. Just listen to the noise when this trophy is lifted. What a moment this will be. England, the European champions, and now the world champions as well. It is quite the double, and they're entitled to celebrate for as long as they want. Really top-class scenes here. Look at the players taking the trophy over to the fans. They've played their part as well. These are great moments for the players, the fans and the coaches.